the shop again. Uh, everything's still closed down. Well, not, I guess everything's not really closed down. Um, Tennessee's opening back up in phases, and uh, our county, Davidson County, is is now in phase one, which we could technically technically be open right now if we wanted to be. Um, but we just don't feel safe opening up this early because we want to see we want to see it get to phase two and see if things actually do get better. You know, we don't want to be part of it. If it gets worse, we don't want to be part of that. We also don't want to get any of our customers sick. We don't get our, ourselves, our family sick. It's just, it's it's tough because our our area is one of the areas where a lot of people are protesting and, and uh, saying open everything back up and we're, we're kind of against that. I mean, you have the right to your own opinion, but we just... Us personally, we believe we just want to wait till phase two actually makes it. Everything looks good enough that we can start opening up a little bit because we, we want to open. I mean, it's been tough, but I think it's it's for the best. It's for the best for our customers. It's best for us to wait until phase two. But today we're going to go uh, do a little more work. We've got the barcode system going, so I'm going through the entire store and uh, actually putting new barcodes and new labels on all the products. And uh, we got some new little sections we're going to be working out. We made it to the shop. We're uh, setting up for our. Uh, we're going to do our little segment for the uh, show that's coming out, the a toy store near you made by the people who made Toys That Made Us. We got asked to be part of that. I think we'll be part of the second wave of, I think the first wave is already about, it comes out the 29th of this month. So we'll be part of the second wave, I believe. So that's pretty cool. We're not very good at being in front of the camera, as you can tell, I'm pretty awkward. Um, we, we actually had already filmed our parts, but they were really short, because we just didn't, we're not very uh, detail, I don't know. We, we don't know how to go on and on about things. We're like, not entertainers. We, yeah, film, we're not entertainers. we film entertainers. <laughs> we're usually behind cameras. We're not in front of cameras. But it's really cool. I think it's really cool they're doing that. I'm glad we're going to be part of it, even though we haven't been open a year. But it's cool. We're still affected by what's going on. So yes, very much. That's what they're they're doing. But we'll. Uh, we're doing some work on the shop today too, so. We're gonna show you guys around a little bit. This in the shop. We have two racks up front now. Those guys. So that kind of gives us a little more room to spread out. Um, for more products because we have that ongoing problem. We decided to take on these little display cases for different size figures from NECA because we think they're cool. Um, we got a new rug. A rug is awesome. A rug is awesome. We got this one but then we decided that it wasn't Quite up to where we wanted it, so we, we went ahead and got that. So, and our, our, our biggest undertaking right now is right here. I'll zoom. Is that gonna, we're gonna have to fix it. We've been barcoding everything. I have to go through the entire store, uh, change all the prices. We were using these uh, just these little old school style. We're using these little old school style uh, labels. So we're going through and actually barcoding everything, so everything can just be scanned in. Right. Makes it easy. 
And this rack right here, the Mezco is going to move away, and then I'm really excited. I'm not going to say what's on this rack yet. It's going to be a cool little. Yeah, we're we're pretty excited about what what we're going to put here, because it's kind of in the realm of the kind of the reason we got into this. Yeah, support the little guy. That's all I'll say about this this rack. That's what this whole is the first thing you see when you walk in, pretty much. Yeah. Right there. That's going to be different. Changes. So we just finished filming the scenes for the uh, toy store near you. Um, we probably look, at least I do, I probably look like a bumbling idiot. I'm not very good at uh, talking in front of the camera and I get kind of jumbled on my words and thoughts. And so it probably comes across on camera, um, even though we are doing this vlog, which is kind of weird. But we're trying to be a little more out there for you guys, I guess. How do you feel about it? That's how I feel about it. That's how she feels about it. No, I, I, I agree. I mean, we're definitely a little more comfortable behind the camera. He he rambles and I won't look at the camera like I, I look everywhere else. But I think it's important, especially how things are now as people, I guess, um, I don't know, we, we really love being close to our customers, so I think doing something like this and even doing something for who knows how they're going to edit that, but I think it's important because it gives you more of a connection with people lets you know, you know, we're, we're real, we're struggling with everyone else through all this, and we're just trying to do the best we can and keep our business going. Yeah. So... I want to finish up a few things here. Um, LJ showed you the few of the new racks and stuff we got up. Um, hopefully we get to open in phase two. We'd love to open now, but we want to keep everybody safe. We want to keep ourselves safe. Hope all of you are being safe, and we want to thank you all for all the support so far, and we hope to see you all soon because we miss you. Take care.